Okay, so real quick, here's what the difference uh, between a necessary and a sufficient condition is. Um, now, a lot of times in philosophy, we have to ask the question, what is X? So, what is a cat? What is a smurf? Or in the context of drug policy and the harm principle, we're going to need to know what is it for something to be a harm. Because if we don't know what something is, if, whether or not something is a harm, we can't tell whether or not it's covered by the, by the harm principle. So to be a necessary condition is to be a feature of that kind of thing, which every one, everything of that kind has. So a necessary condition of being a smurf is being blue because all Smurfs are blue. If you find something that is not blue, you know you don't have yourself a Smurf. If you got yourself a Smurf, you know you got yourself something blue. On the other hand, a sufficient condition is something that only members of that kind have. So being blue is not a sufficient condition of being a Smurf because there's all sorts of other blue things out there that aren't themselves Smurfs. Um, if it was a sufficient condition, then any time you ate a blueberry, you'd be committing a horrible, horrible crime against Smurfdom. And hopefully that's not the case. So, in short, a necessary condition is something that every member of a kind has, but other things can share too. And a sufficient condition is something that only members of that kind have. That can't be shared with anything else, and the trick is, there can be some things of that kind which don't have the sufficient condition, but we don't really need to worry about that. Then finally, there can be things that are both necessary and sufficient, which is just, you know, putting a necessary condition together with the sufficient condition. So this has an important implication for how we proceed. If somebody's giving us a necessary condition for something, that means that in order to test whether or not what they're telling us is true, you have to look for something of that kind which does not have the necessary condition. So if somebody said having four legs is a necessary condition of being a cat, well then what we look for is a cat that does not have four legs. And so poor Tippy or poor Tripod would prove that that is in fact not a necessary condition. If somebody's giving us a sufficient condition for something, then the way we test it out is by looking for something that is not a thing of that kind, but which has that property. So if we said that having a tail is a sufficient condition of being a cat, well, we would show that that's false because plenty of other animals out there have tails. Koala bears, dogs, wombats, at least I think wombats have tails, fish, all sorts of things have tails, but are not themselves cats. So having a tail cannot be a sufficient condition of being a cat. 